Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You hear that? Y'all hear that? You didn't hear that? You didn't hear that? Okay, it's time to plan your next trip. Let's go. Hello kitties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan. This is This Behaving Gal, home of big hair, bold looks, and big laughs. I show you how to break the internet without breaking the bank. You know, a lot of countries claim to have it all when it comes to romantic getaways, but as a world traveler, I can tell you a lot of countries ain't seeing my country. You ain't seeing the Bahamas. I say you ain't seeing it. If you're looking for natural beauty, incredible beaches, a laid back vibe and adventure, then these are the places you need to be hitting up in the Bahamas. I'm giving you the best places to visit in the Bahamas for couples. Let's go. So if you watched my last video on the Bahamas, uh, things to know before packing up and moving to the Bahamas, and I'll link it up here, or I'll link it up here and put the photo here. Anyway, just look up here, these two corners. Uh, one of the places that I mentioned was Exuma. Exuma, mind-blowing, breathtaking, gorgeous. Okay, so the thumbnail that I used for that video was on a beach called Three Sisters Beach, and I can't tell you how many people hit me up in the DM on Instagram to ask me, where was that picture taken? Was that picture doctored? No, that picture was not doctored. I did not Photoshop, I don't even have Photoshop. I don't even have Photoshop on my computer, no lie. Um, the water really was that blue. The, the beach really was that white and sandy. Uh, so that is Three Sisters Beach. If you guys are even interested in that place, make sure you go to Exuma. But I've got to talk about Exuma because this is the place you go for a romantic getaway. You know, you're with your, your partner and you just want seclusion. You just want to feel like you have your own little private island to yourself. Uh, Exuma has some folks there, but you definitely, it's so, they're so scattered. They're so far out that you really are going to feel like you kind of have the island to yourself, especially if you go to spots that are very secluded. What I love about Exuma is it has the most breathtaking beaches I've ever seen in my life, and especially in the Bahamas. And they have adventure in Exuma. So if you've been watching like a lot of US television, I think The Bachelor may have been there uh, several years ago. If I'm, if I'm, I stand to be corrected, but I believe it was The Bachelor. Um, but in Exuma, there's a key, and we pronounce C-A-Y key, not K. Uh, there's a key that has a lot of spotted pigs, okay? And you can swim with the pigs, they're huge, some of them are babies. You can swim with the pigs, you can take pictures with the pigs. They're so accustomed to human interaction at this point, like, it, it, it's, it's just amazing, it's just cool. And I don't think before going to Exuma I'd ever seen a spotted pig. I've seen normal pigs, but never spotted pigs. But that's just such a wonderful talking point and it makes for great photos and it's a great bonding exercise between you and your partner as well. So that's just one of the things that you get to get to see in Exuma. Exuma also has the sharks, the nurse sharks. So you might see a lot of photos on Instagram with people who are uh, swimming with the sharks. That, they're doing that in Exuma, a lot of nurse sharks. I did that several years ago. It was during the Easter period and it was just awesome, just incredible. I had a fantastic time. I was in Exuma for the first time with my brother and we had a ball. So I know that if you go with your partner, you're going to definitely enjoy the adrenaline rush that you get from swimming with the sharks. There's also the grotto. I think it's called a Thunderman's Grotto. And I think James Bond was filmed there several years ago. This is the old James Bond, old, old James Bond. Um, but it's like an underground water cave that you go in you just have to be very careful because you know the tide will come up high but it's supposed to be spectacular i wanted to go inside of it the last time that i was in exuma but i couldn't because the tide our tour guide was like a little iffy about it and saying i don't think this is going to be safe because the tide is just rising too quickly listen to your tour guys don't don't listen to your tour guys these bahamian fellas and ladies they know what they are talking about especially if they're natives to exuma they know when the situation is not safe so please 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 just listen to your tour guide but that's something that you would definitely enjoy with your partner and i've heard such rave reviews from lots of people who have been in exuma and dealt with that the iguanas are on a different key 
If you ever want to feel like as close to a dinosaur as possible, and I know they're, they're way smaller than dinosaurs, okay? But it almost feels like you're, you're on your own little Jurassic Park or Jurassic Island in the Bahamas. And again, you get to feed the iguanas and just spend time with them and just get really close to nature. That's a bonding exercise for you and your partner too. So romance doesn't necessarily have to be in the cabanas and you know just lying on the beach with a fruity drink all these things are romantic and they make fantastic photos and excellent memories years down the line and what i love about exuma as well and i think you're going to love it because a lot of people are very iffy about traveling because they don't know how the locals will interact well they take great pride in their island so once you're there everybody almost uh, uh, operates like a tour guide you know in some respects giving you tips about where you can go so exuma definitely would be on my top list of places that you need to go with your partner so write that down e-x-u-m-a exuma let's go another island that is just incredible and really makes you feel free is eleuthera and coincidentally eleuthera means freedom um, it's known for its pineapples but it's also known for its gorgeous beaches and i think that's the closest island for me that or the island that comes as closest um, in, in beauty natural beauty to exuma eleuthera is very long and narrow so you're going to have a great time driving the island um, don't forget we drive on the left in the bahamas but it's just a wonderful wonderful drive and you can also take a ferry to harbor island which is very idyllic and picturesque and it also it, it almost reminds me of like nantucket you know nantucket if you've ever been to nantucket just like quaint um, homes just very colorful just very pastel colorful um, and just warm people you're definitely going to enjoy it uh, Eleuthera and Harbor Island wonderful food the most spectacular sunrises and sun sunsets um, lots of areas where you can kind of hold hands and just walk and enjoy yourselves one of my favorite places I, I didn't stay here but I ate here almost every day was um, it was a restaurant at this uh, hotel called French leave and it was just amazing just make sure I pack some bug spray if not you'll be doing a lot of this like you're doing the macarena or something i don't know how you do the macarena anymore but you're gonna be doing a lot of that because they got a lot of mosquitoes in eleuthera i am not lying be sure to take a trip on the glass window bridge once you're in eleuthera and the queen's bath i say no more glass window bridge and the queen's bath i say no more that's romantic it's beautiful especially if the sun is setting you're just going to, you will always remember your time there. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Nassau gets a bad rap. I'm from Nassau. I represent Nassau all day, every day. And I love my, I love my island, okay? <laughs> you know, I love my island. Um, but I think sometimes we don't understand how beautiful the island is, especially the western tip of the island. Um, I've always said, and in my last video, I said that I didn't think that Nassau had the best, uh, um, um, uh, beaches but there is a beach that is absolutely gorgeous to me it's called Nirvana Beach and that's in the western tip and I think it's it's pretty secluded you don't like, unless it's like a holiday and I don't even know if they allow um, you know like the locals to come by anymore like that I, I stand to be corrected but I just don't I haven't seen a lot of locals on Nirvana Beach in a long time but I've seen couples going down there um, in the afternoon in the morning and it's just beautiful uh, gorgeous serene uh, surroundings lots of foliage you're gonna love Nirvana it truly is Nirvana and one of my absolute favorite places in the West is um, the Compass Point Resort and they have a, a restaurant there where I used to eat a lot um, and lots of couples used to go there for food but it's just kind of wonderful to be able to walk the property because it's so incredibly colorful and I'll make sure to put some photos so you can see a, a good friend of mine uh, he's a photographer we went out there um, one day and we were just snapping photos and, and to this day because I'm so far away from home I still think about the Bahamas and I always look at these photos because it just kind of puts me back in that spot but I think as a couple and they have bungalows there if they're still open um, they have bungalows that you can rent um, and stay for a couple days it's just beautiful because the water is just pure and turquoise and and sapphire it looks like sapphires it's just really really beautiful out there and lots of colors so if you're really looking for that island life 
and you're with your partner and you just want to feel like you're really far away from it all, you might want to go and stay at Compass Point Resort if they're open. Now this island truly is luxury. It's very luxe, it's very glamorous, and it usually just gets lumped with New Providence, with Nassau, but I think it really, even to this day, it still blows my mind. It's Paradise Island and it truly is paradise. Um, if you are looking for the modern um, luxuries and technology, then you definitely want to stay on Paradise Island. And Paradise Island is home to the world famous, iconic Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. Um, and lots of ballers, shot callers, a lot of people who got money, some wealth, they live on Paradise Island, especially in the, um, um, what's that called? Ocean Club estate area. Like that's where I like, think like, what's his name? Michael Jordan has some property and all that stuff. Like, you know, that's that's where they stay. It's, it's just gorgeous. But if you're looking for like the high-end boutiques, they're all there in the Atlantis Resort. Um, all the banks, everything that you could possibly want and need is there, but it's still perfect for a couple because you have nice little trails, nice little paths that you could do um, walk, holding hands and just, you know, sneaking kisses and that sort of thing. Um, and it's just breathtakingly beautiful. On Paradise Island, there's also the French Cloisters. Um, which was a monastery that was donated to the Bahamas. I believe that's how the, the story goes. And it overlooks Nassau Harbor. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of people have weddings there. A lot of people go and take photos there. It's just a memorable place. And I don't think the pictures do it justice. When you walk up to it and you saw the beautiful flowers, you just don't want to leave. It's just beautiful. And it's like right across the street from the one and only um, um, hotel where a lot of couples stay as well and they just have every modern um, every modern trapping, everything that you might possibly need when you're there honeymooning or just on a romantic getaway, you're gonna get it right there on Paradise Island. Lots of beautiful beaches, Cabbage Beach is one of my personal favorites. You gotta be a little careful. I know a lot of folks go out there to do surfing, um, but you know, the currents can be really strong. When I was a kid, I almost drowned on that beach, for real, and I didn't even know how to swim. I don't even know what I was doing in the water. But you know, just beautiful beaches, um, very clean, very safe, lots of police presence. Um, and I think you'll have a great time there. I think you'll make some wonderful memories and you'll want to keep going back. When you're in Atlantis, make sure to, if you decide to go to Atlantis, because you don't have to stay at Atlantis to enjoy um, some of their amenities. Um, as a couple, you could go strolling through Marina Village, which is like a pedestrian, um, pedestrianized area with lots of high-end boutiques, some nice little straw, um, straw vendors, that sort of thing. You know, they have like, you know, the, the Bahamas t-shirts and all the little souvenirs that you might want to buy, get ice cream, all that sort of stuff. And you get to see all these million dollar yachts in the marina. It's, it's romantic. It's beautiful. The weather is great. You're just going to go nuts. So definitely check out those far spots. Exuma, Eleuthera, the western tip of New Providence, um, and of, which is Nassau, and of course Paradise Island. And I promise you, I know you guys have heard about those places and you may have visited one of those spots, but let me tell you, there are so many other islands in the Bahamas that you can you can definitely take advantage of that are, are worthy of being on this list, but I don't want to keep this video too long. So we're definitely going to start there. Pack your bags, make sure you're planning your trip to the Bahamas and go to one of these spots. You will not regret it. You will slide into my DM and you will tell me, girl, why didn't you tell me to go to Exuma sooner? <laughs> okay, I promise you. Well, that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. I want the big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave comments down below. Thank you so much for always engaging with me, not only here on YouTube, but of course on Instagram. You guys always reach out and I so truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Be sure to explore other videos that I have on this platform. I have lots of videos from about a year ago, like go back into my old stuff. I'm sure you're going to find something that you enjoy. I know the guys aren't particularly interested in like the makeup tutorials, but there's so many other things, so many skits that you guys might enjoy. Um, uh, be sure to click the link and watch one of my latest skits. Uh, and of course, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at This Bahamian Gal and on my blog, www.thisbahamiangal.com. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again next Wednesday, every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on This Bahamian Gal. I love you guys. Mwah. I'll see you next time. Bye.